Hi, my name is Tasha, and I'm a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm going to be walking you through some practice questions for the Praxis Exam 5017. That's the Elementary Education Exam Science Instruction. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's go to question one. So, a teacher asks the students to monitor the growth of a plant that they use for their science experiment. The students need to measure the height of the plant daily. Which of the following units of measure will best will be best for this activity? So let's get rid of all the imperial measurement system because we are in science. So inches and feet we can automatically get rid of. So we're left with meters and centimeters. Meters would be way too big to actually measure um, a little plant. So our answer will be C, centimeters. Okay, question two. A teacher has three spheres that represent the sun, the moon, and the earth. They ask one student of their students to arrange the spheres to represent a solar eclipse. Which of the following arrangements should the student make? So our key words here are that it's a solar eclipse. So let me draw the arrangement that should actually represent what we're looking at. So here we have the sun, and then we have the moon, which is tinier, and then we have the earth. So this is the arrangement, the sun is shining light, and where that moon is creating a shadow on the earth, as you see there, that will be where you see a solar eclipse. So our answer is going to be to put the moon sphere between the sun and the earth spheres. So A. But let's see if they actually ask you about a lunar eclipse. So this would be specifically for a solar eclipse. Let's say they ask you about a lunar eclipse, though. So let me give you that option. So here we have the sun. And then we're going to have the earth is going to be in between the, the um, moon and the sun. That is going to be a lunar eclipse. So if they ask about that, that is going to be the lineup for a lunar eclipse. So question three, which of the following items is best to demonstrate a pulley? So I drew a picture or I have a picture, an image of a pulley. So if you look at the playground slide, that's just a simple slide. We can eliminate that. A magnet is where two things are pulling together. That's not a pulley. A seesaw is where you're going to have that little plank in between. So we can eliminate that. And the flagpole rope will have a pulley system in there to pull the flag up. So our answer is A. On to our last question, a teacher shows a vascular plant to their students. The teacher asks the students to determine which part of the plant that takes up water. So our two key words here are that it's a vascular plant and it will take up water. Where is it taking up water? Which of the following student responses is correct? So A, student A says the stem. This it does contain the vascular system, which is the water system, the um. So that does contain it, but it's not where it's going to actually take up the water. Um, C, the leaves, this is where the evaporation happens from that water that's in the stem. That's where the evaporation happens, so they ask about that. Flower is not included with the vascular system, so we can eliminate those three, and we are left with the roots. So that is where they take up water in the plant. So be. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of videos like the ones I just showed you, as well as targeted instruction for topics you still might be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if you found today's video helpful. Also in the comments down below, please let us know if there's any topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!